All right, boys. So this video is gonna be a little LS cam swap. Actually, the lifters, lifters and a cam. All right, I know I skipped a lot of steps, but intake's now off. Damn. Intake's now off. Water pumps off. I was having a lot of trouble with the hoses. They were really good on, grabbed on there good. All these freaking dirt, what is it? It's like some bugs or something. All right, cheapy Milwaukee test. Let's see if this can get the underdrive pulley bolt off. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> now nah, I had to use a, this breaker bar. And I sh shoved that, the, I don't know what that's called, but I shoved that for a one spin. And now I gotta spin it backwards. I'm having to do it without power tools. So now I'm trying to pull the pulley off. I have to jam the cheater bar that I used to take the pulley, the, the boat off. Now I'm using it to hold the pulley from turning on me. So let me see if I can get a little. Cool, so header bolts, headers are loose. Uh, right now, I'm taking off the uh, timing cover. There's just one bolt that's a pain, is this one behind the AC. That's the hardest one, and then there's two on the bottom pointing down. That's pretty much it. After that, I'm gonna start pulling off the heads, too. I'm not even gonna do the rockers and stuff or the valve springs on it. I'll take it off and I'll clean them up and I'll get it done out here. But I do want to clean this before I... All right, so I do not recommend doing this with the manifold on or the headers, whatever it is. I was having a lot of trouble with that last one back there. And getting a socket on it is pretty tricky. So, yeah, if you can get the headers off, take them off. These are just welded. I don't want to waste more money by having to cut them and then let them, making him waste more money. So I'm going to try to... I might have to if I can't get the last one on. But the heads are off now. And clean them up real good. Take out the timing cover. Should I do everything? I'll probably put the cam in right now. Take the lifters out, put the cam in. Tidy it off. Oh no, I can't even do it. I'm waiting on the I'm still waiting on the oil pump to get here. And yeah, going good. So I'm gonna start cleaning up these heads. Start cleaning up over here. Start close the hood, make sure nothing gets in here. And yeah, we should be golden. Alright, so now everything's off. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with this again. I'm gonna hit it once, let it soak. And then I'm gonna hit it with the wire wheel. All right, boys, so timing cover didn't come out too good, but we'll hit that with the wire wheel and it'll, it'll get better. Valve covers came out fresh. Intake's gonna come out clean once it dries up. The head came out freaking great. All right, boys, so day two, I'm ready to get started. It's already one o'clock noon, it's like 12.30 or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and right now, I'm gonna try to blow all this gunk out. As I can't get a pressure washer, I don't want to get too much water inside the oil pan, or whatever. I'll blow this gunk out, blow the bolt holes out, blow all this off, get this all off. I think I'm gonna cut the headers because if I can get the head bolts in pretty easy, I had a lot of trouble with this yesterday. So we'll see how. And then I'm gonna, well, I'm, first I'm gonna wire wheel the manifold, the headers real quick. But yeah, we'll see how far we get today. Hopefully, you get everything put together. Hopefully it turns on today. So that's the that's the goal for today. No matter how late, I think we should be able to get it on. All right. Got the cam plate off, timing gear off. No cam bearings in it. I mean, no. Fuck. I mean, uh, ah. no lifters in it. They just lifters are out. So this cam should come straight out. All right, so this is the chop copper cam. You know what a cam looks like. Lifter soaking in oil. Gonna use this oil to lube this uh, cam up. Get it slid in there, put the lifters in. Basically get, get everything ready. 
Uh, then I have to go under, drop the oil pan so I can get the oil pan off. Drop the oil pan so I can get the oil pump off. And yeah, pretty much it. All right, so I don't know what lifters are these. I think they're like LS7s or something, but I like pulling the little holes forward. So this is the passenger side. I already got the driver's side in. I just need to torque them down. Uh, this is the passenger side. I just point them forward just because I like the idea of the oil pumping forward while the engine, while the motor's going, while the car's moving forward. This is going to push the oil back, I assume. So, all right, so we got the oil pan off just because how dirty it is. I asked him, you want to change the oil pan? He asked me, he said, yeah, because yeah, it is pretty caked up. So, I might as well go ahead and do it. So, we're going to hit it with the greaser right now and see how it comes out after. Valve covers and valley cover looking good. I mean, timing cover. All right, boys. All right, so heads are now on, torqued. Uh, torque to yield the bolt, so 90 and then 50. So yeah, pretty much all good. Gonna put the timing cover on, but I'm gonna leave it loose cause I'm gonna put the oil pan on. First, I gotta go clean it and dry it out. Yeah, I'm gonna put the oil pan on real quick. And I'm gonna come back here and just start finish buttoning it up up here, which from here should go pretty quick, hopefully. I don't wanna jinx it. But yeah, we have the timing. I don't know if I showed that, but it's like on this edge right here. All right, boys, so, I was gonna look kinda weird, but the oil pads on, getting the mounted, the, head, the headers mounted up, just for, our, and I'm gonna put this cross member back on, and then I can just go ahead and start. I'll be done down here, and I'll just start on top. But yeah, going pretty good. Taking forever, but taking my time, make sure everything like I know it's not perfectly clean, but it's just you should the before was caked up. So coming out good and we're gonna keep going and see what time we get finished. Hopefully the goal is to get it turned on tonight, which I think is very doable. Alright, now we're making really good progress. The one drive's on, tightened up, headers are on, uh oil pressure sensor is on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the power steering bracket and the alternator on. And then the water pump, we don't have time, but the motor looks good. Way better than when it came in. So, we're going to keep going and see what time we finish. Maybe I'll start it, but I don't think so. My neighbors have kids, and I don't want to be that person. So, we'll get everything buttoned up. Oh, I still need to do the spark plugs. We'll get everything buttoned up, and we'll probably start it in the morning. I better start good, because I probably will start it tonight. It'll be if I'm going to have to say screw it, because I need to make sure it's good by tomorrow morning. All right, boys, we'll pick back up here in a little bit. All right, intake is on now. Yeah, just the intake. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the accessory on right here. Yeah, we'll just... all right, boys, quick video real quick. Intake's on, spark plugs are in, uh, coil packs are on, I'm about to do the oil dipstick. And I should be done with the motor now. And then I'll just have to deal with the water pump, the radiator, the fan, the shrouds, or the belt. And I gotta fix this little. I broke this, so I gotta fix it. So yeah, it's going good. I'm gonna leave the coil packs unplugged so I can uh, prime the oil a little bit. And yeah, going good. It should be finished here in about 30 minutes or so. And for the most part, pretty much done. I just still have the coil packs unplugged. Just reason being, uh, prime the motor, like I said. Uh, intake's on, brand new Tipe intake. All right, so now everything's on, coolant's filled. Still need to burp it, oil's filled, uh, battery's on. I still need to fix this pigtail, but I'll get that to, I'll get to that in the morning. But now I'm gonna just turn it over, see what it does. Let's bring you with me as a whole. I just had to turn flash on real quick, but I picked up exactly where I left off. It's 12.6 volts. All right, so the oil pressure gauge is messed up. Cambie aceite motor. 155 miles.
All right, so about my, my little light. Uh, I think that's enough. Just turn it over. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug these in. All right, so it turned on, but it's just too loud. And it already sounded choppy. <laughs> I don't know about up here. Couldn't hear it, but this struggle a little bit just because uh, it just they didn't know where I was at. But it was already going to start chopping real good. And tomorrow we're going to see what it sounds like early in the morning because this truck has to get out of here by before noon. Make sure everything's good. It's getting tuned tomorrow afternoon. So, yeah, I appreciate it, homie, for trusting me with this truck. It's a clean truck. It's one of the cleanest trucks that I've, like, honestly worked on. All right, so now it's going to be the first first start. Gonna you know, turn on and move it back so we can get in the sun. Have some sun when I'm working on the little sensor. I'm wearing clean clothes now. Hands clean. Let's see. 214-22 so yeah I think this will be the last part of the video you heard it chop a little bit I just can't get it to idle now it is warm because uh, he didn't take it somewhere else to get tuned but yeah came out looking good I like that I cleaned the valley cover it looks good that was tuned I forgot where the gospel was at but it sounds good Nice and choppy. You better go for a ride along. appreciate you watching uh that's the chopper of cobra camp and it did good i like it and yeah so now we're gonna get back to this this is like gonna be the next video so this content you won't see until next video and we'll catch up then